Welcome to the Ice Age. Well, not really, but it is really cold out here today. Uh, we started off at about two degrees above uh, above zero. We're sitting at right about 17 right now, so it is pretty chilly. But right now I'm standing in front of a, a really wonderful location. This is actually the uh, post Ice Age deposit here in Alpena, Michigan. And I'm sorry we don't have a really cool, exciting fossil thing to show you, but in such a short period of time, this is about the best I could do. But right here we've got a, a great location. The bottom of this deposit right here is all sand. That sand was deposited about 12,000 years ago from a lake that covered this area called Lake Algonquin. After that lake kind of peeled away and transgressed and kind of moved across the land and dried up, we have a forest that grew on top of that. That forest was here for about 5,000 years, and then all of a sudden another lake started to form called Lake Nipissing. And that lake is this white layer right here. It's a layer of calcium carbonate and it is just full of fossils. It's full of snails and clams, all kinds of little tiny water creatures that lived in those ancient uh, lakes about 6,000 years ago. Up above that, we've got another layer of peat moss. That's where another forest started to grow. So this is just a beautiful layer cake of what happened after the last ice age. And again, we don't have the uh, ability right now to go digging fossils because it's winter time, but I thought I'd show you real quickly some of the things that are available. This is a really an exciting area. So there's some scientists from Cranbrook uh, came by here. Uh, I was showing them the area. They were just beaming with excitement because there's lots of wood in here. They're actually taking samples of this wood back to the laboratory to do carbon-14 testing. Once they do that carbon-14 testing, we'll know exactly when those layers were laid down. Um, we also have um, tree ring analysis people out of Arizona that are going to analyze the tree rings to see how fast those trees grew, how slow they grew, what kind of environmental conditions we had here after the Ice Age. you got to remember, the Ice Age was really, really cold. So these creatures that lived here had to be resilient. They had to be strong enough to last through that cold. And again, we've got these snails, and, and they're very small. They're maybe, maybe about a half inch long. That's about as big as they got. So again, this was a cold water environment. We have not found any creatures yet. We haven't found any fish, haven't found any mammals. Uh, by this time, all the, uh, the mammoths and mastodons were long gone, so they're not here, but there were other creatures that lived in this area. We're hoping to find some of those today as well. But because it's so frozen, it's really tough getting through this, uh, this sediment. But I wanted to show you real quick, on a short notice, what kind of things we can do. Hope to see you there.